Assalamu alaikum. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was a careful and conscious eater. His diet was immensely simple, healthy, and packed with vital nutrients. The foods he enjoyed included barley, black seed, dates, figs, grapes, gourd, honey, milk, olive oil, vinegar, water, watermelon, yogurt, and meat in moderation. Essentially, in modern days, it would be known as a flexitarian diet. Flexitarian diet is where someone eats mostly plant-based foods while allowing meat and refined foods on occasion. For example, you can eat meat, vegetables, fruits, whole grains, plant-based proteins, eggs, dairy, oils and herbs and spices and meat in moderation and not to eat meat, added sugar and refined carbohydrates in excess. A flexitarian diet offers protection against cancer, diabetes and other health conditions. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam preferred vegetables over meat. Once a tailor from Medina prepared a dish with meat and courgette. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam preferred the courgette in this dish and the host put courgette close to the Prophet Muhammad Dishes prepared with chard and barley without any meat or oil was a favourable dish eaten by Muslims from Medina after the Friday prayer. Bread was usually made from barley, wheat was available and it was brought by grain producers or traders from Syria. However, it was very expensive so not everyone could afford to buy it. Soup was a common meal such as kasisha which was made from grinded grain with meat or dates, hazira was cooked by adding fine flour to water, harissa was known as a flour soup with oil and meat. Variations included adding vegetables such as chard and sawik which was made from roasted flour mixed with water or milk. The fruits enjoyed by the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam were dates, watermelon, melon, grapes, quince, peach, pomegranate, mulberry and fig. Nuts such as peanuts and almonds were also known in Medina at the time and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam neutralized the sweetness of dates with gherkin. The desserts enjoyed by the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam included mixing dried dates with milk or mixing honey with water. In Medina the chicken strolled around the streets so no doubt eggs from chicken was an important food stuff. Cheese was not known in Medina however curd was consumed and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ate a kind of fermented cheese which had been produced when in the region during the Tabuk excursion and he liked it raw milk from camel sheep and goat were mostly consumed and to preserve the milk it was mixed with water on hot days remember this information is all free so don't forget to subscribe like share or follow conscious bites dietitian